What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, Athletics.com. Today I'm going to show you an arm workout that you can do with just a single pair of dumbbells, or actually even just one single dumbbell that's going to help you to build jacked arms. That's right, if you know how to train with the dumbbells in your hands and the right exercises to choose, your ability to build bigger arms becomes a lot easier. So my job here is to make sure that you know exactly that information. I'm going to break down the sets and the reps. Let's start breaking down the exercises one by one. If you're looking for a complete program where we break down every single muscle with just the use of dumbbells, you can find that in our jacked program over at athleanx.com. Now back to the video. All right, so the way this workout breaks down is actually very, very simple. You're going to take six exercises, three for the biceps and three for the triceps, and each of them are going to be performed for three sets of eight to ten repetitions. Now I understand that not everybody has access to a full rack of dumbbells, but that's the beauty of this workout. You don't need them. If the weight that you have access to is appropriate for you to reach failure in the 8 to 10 rep range, then you're going to perform the two dumbbell variation of the exercise. If the weight that you have access to is too heavy, then you're going to perform the single dumbbell variation provided for each one of those exercises. And finally, if the weight that you have access to is too light, then what you do is perform the two dumbbell variation and simply just keep going until you reach failure. That being said, we have to make some accommodations. Instead of getting the overload through the tension of the dumbbell, we need to create overload another way. We're going to do it through metabolic overload. Decreasing the rest time in between sets dramatically to just 45 to 60 seconds will do the trick. So we kick this arm workout off with the biceps portion of the workout, and this is going to start here with the long head focused dumbbell drag curl. And it's that outer portion of the biceps, the long head, that is responsible for that bicep peak that we see. And you can actually activate it by trying to place the biceps on a stretch. The way we can do that is to try to place our arms back into extension. Now let's say you don't have access to the appropriate weight. The one you have is too heavy. Remember the rules. You simply perform a single dumbbell version of an exercise that will do the same type of thing. The waiter's curl is my option of choice here. Remember the dumbbell weight that you have access to is going to determine which variation of the exercise you do. If you had access to a full rack of dumbbells, then of course you could choose between either one. Next up we move to the short head of the biceps, which would be the inner head of the biceps. And what we want to do here is focus on an exercise that gets those arms out in front of our body. And again, if we had access to two dumbbells, I would do the standing dumbbell curl. And I've mentioned before that I like the alternating version because I can focus more of my effort on the weight that I'm handling. Not being compromised by a weak core, I can lift more weight here and get more stress to make me fail in that 8 to 10 rep range. Of course, if I didn't have access to the two dumbbells, then what would I do? This right here. This would be the dumbbell kneeling preacher curl. I'm taking a two-handed grip on a single dumbbell, but most importantly, getting those elbows posted up against my own knees out in front of the body. Remember, to hit that short head, you want to have those arms placed out in front of you to limit the long head contribution. This dumbbell kneeling preacher curl does exactly that. Three sets of 8 to 10 reps. Once again, if the weight you have access to is too light, you simply rep it out and decrease your rest time between sets in just 45 to 60 seconds. And of course, no arm workout is complete until we realize that there's more muscles to your upper arm that flex the arm than just the biceps, namely the brachialis. And my exercise of choice here is going to be the cross body hammer curl. What's great about this exercise is if we can pronate the forearm, then we can minimize the contribution of the biceps to elbow flexion. And that's a good thing because, again, we want to try to focus on the other muscles of the upper arm. And the brachialis just happens to be the one that lies underneath the biceps and when it's developed helps to increase the overall size and girth of the arm. So we want to do this exercise. But if we didn't have access to the two dumbbells, then what would we do for our single dumbbell option? This is where we do something called the dumbbell shovel curl. You're basically getting an assist, a spot from one arm for the other. So when I'm curling the dumbbell off to one side, the side that I'm curling towards is the one that's doing the majority of the work with the opposite arm acting as a spot. Either way here, just use the weight that you have access to and perform the exercise that correlates to it. And now we move on to the tricep portion of the workout. And the first exercise here is actually one that brings back nightmares. That's right, the time that CT and I actually did this exercise, oh, I don't know, 200 times. That's right, 200 times in the tricep gauntlet. My triceps still feel it. Thank you, CT. Now what we do though is we utilize the floor as our bottom down position, but we're still performing a lion tricep extension, which is a long head stretch exercise for the triceps. One of the best out there. But in order to do this correctly, I say all the time, you never want the dumbbell to fully extend over your chest. Keep those arms angled slightly back at all times to continue to place some of that tension directly on to the long head of the triceps. If the dumbbells I had access to were too heavy, I could just use one of them and perform the single dumbbell variation of the same exercise. Once again, you can see here that the mechanics don't change. I'm still dropping the dumbbell down back behind my head and keeping that slight angle back of the arms at the top of every single repetition. 
Three sets of eight to 10 repetitions here. If the dumbbell weight that you have access to is too light, just keep going until you reach failure and drop that rest time down from the 90 seconds to two minutes that we would normally get to 45 to 60 seconds and go for that metabolic burnout. Exercise number two is another one that's going to focus on the long head because as I say, you can never have a big enough long head. Anyway, we're talking about the dumbbell overhead extension. Again, if we had access to a pair of dumbbells that was the appropriate weight to fail in that eight to 10 rep range, then we'd perform the variation of the exercise with a dumbbell in each hand. I like this one the best because I feel like it gives us a chance to get the best shoulder position. That's right, shoulder position. Because I believe that this exercise can compromise the shoulders of somebody that already has an irritated shoulder or impingement if you don't do it properly. By making sure our elbows are facing forward rather than out directly to the sides, we can minimize internal rotation of the shoulder at the top and maximize external rotation. Again, that makes a difference because external rotation is gonna clear some of that joint space to make the exercise feel more comfortable, particularly for those that already have those issues. Now, if you didn't have access to the pair of dumbbells and you had only a single dumbbell, well, again, I would say just make sure you exercise caution here because it's more likely that when you have just a single dumbbell held by two hands, those elbows are gonna to wanna to drift even more because of the lack of mobility that most of us have. Keep those elbows pointing forward if you wanna maximize the gains without the pains. Once again, three sets of eight repetitions here. The two light guys, remember, up those repetitions until you reach failure and decrease that rest. And last but not least, every time I talk about the triceps, it seems I always talk about this next exercise. It's the tricep kickback. And the reason why I do is because it does a great job of getting the triceps long head into a fully contracted state. It's not always about just training it from the stretch position, but you also want to make sure you get it into its fully shortened position, and the dumbbell kickback allows us to do just that. If the weights I had just happened to be too heavy, i drop one of the dumbbells, use just one, and do the tricep cheap back. That's right, very similar to a dumbbell cheat lateral for the shoulders, you're just trying to utilize some momentum to initiate the movement of the dumbbell to get it back into that fully contracted state. Remember, that is the important portion of this exercise that we're trying to target, that full shortening of the tricep long head. Three sets of eight repetitions here, once again, if you had access to the dumbbells, or three sets on each arm if you're gonna go with the dumbbell cheat back. When it comes to building bigger arms, your muscles speak only one language, and that's tension. And we can certainly deliver all the tension that we need through the use of just dumbbells, especially if you know how to use them. In this workout here, you've got a taste of exactly what you need to do. Now just go get the job done. If you're looking for a complete program where we break down every single muscle with just the use of dumbbells, you can find our jacked program over at athletenext.com. If you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. If you're looking for a total body example of how to do this, click this video here and watch that one too. Guys, we'll be back in just a few days with another video. Make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.